Hey, welcome back to my channel, Blended with Love and Adventure. If you're new, welcome. If you are returning, thank you for coming back. This is a was for dinner um, recipe night, and we are on the week of, I don't know today's day. Today's date is Today is the 16th. So the week of the 16th, we are making taco casserole. So it's casserole Monday. We are making taco casserole, super simple, super kid friendly. And um, I think everybody will enjoy it. I have a pound of meat, burger. You can do any type of meat you want. We have burger tonight. Um, taco seasoning, shredded cheese, shredded lettuce, sour cream, black olives, I got one item. Sorry, guys. Um, I have to find it. It's right here. And um, you're going to need a little salsa. So this is what we're making tonight. Okay, everybody, I am going to move you on over. And you were going to look at that real quick. <laughs> so I'm going to get my burger um, cooking here. I just want kids. K I D S. I Lala is behind me doing RAS kits on the computer. And if nobody knows what that is, it's actually a program that you can sign up through your own home personally, or you can get it through the school. And she's doing hers through the school because she has schoolwork that's due on it. And it's just reading, which is great. So what it does, it reads to your kids. So you'll listen to it and then you read it. The kid reads it and then you answer questions. So it's comprehension as well. It's amazing. So, <laughs> she's spelling her teacher's name now. I'm gonna go ahead and get my casserole dish ready because we're gonna bake this as well. So first you're gonna spray it. I don't know that you can see that. You're gonna spray. That way, oh, that way you're gonna lay down tortillas on the bottom of this. Actually, I'm going to cut mine. Not with a pizza cutter. You cut yours with a knife if you want. <laughs> pizza, cutter. pizza cutter. I do. That's what I did. No. It's all good. There we go. There we go. That way they fit. Okay, now that my burger is done, you are going to add your taco packet. And you're going to follow the directions on the back of the pack. Books. Okay. You're just gonna let this um, thicken up. So it's just gonna kind of sit here until it gets thicker and then we'll put everything together. So in this dish, I already have it sprayed and I have my tortilla shells lying in the bottom. So you're gonna just take a little bit. Good job, Lily. I said good job. She said you passed. You can get more stuff. Yeah, so that means you did a good job. Cheese. It must have been the last one. Yay! I passed. Look at Mr. Cut. Mr. What? Mr. Cut. Oh. What's up? Stuff that you love. You love it. It's hot too. It's not hot. It's not hot. I promise. Only use yeah. olives if you like olives. Our family loves olives, so. I love, love olives. <laughs> so this works for our family. 
You gotta do what works for your family. And like Caleb would love guacamole, but I know they won't eat guacamole, so I didn't do guacamole. Um, so now you're just gonna start layering your, your tortilla shells again. Y'all, I had to do that to get mine to actually fit in my dish here. There we go. Then we're going to add some olives. Then we're going to throw this in the oven and we're going to We are going to bake this at 350 to melt everything together. So I'm going to start with 15 minutes and see where it gets me. All right, welcome back everybody. This is now out of the oven. Y'all look how yummy this is. And you can top it with guacamole, lettuce, sour cream, salsa, whatever you wanna do, more cheese or whatever, but this is it. And it's just layers and it's so yummy. What do you guys think? Got I'm trying to bite it. Oh! Oh, it just came off. It's, um, do you like it? Yeah, I think the name should be the taco, the taco tower. The taco tower, the taco casserole. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and taste this and we'll let you know how it tastes. But y'all, it looks very, very yummy. All right, <clears throat> we are officially done with dinner. We have none left. I probably should have made more. So this will tell you, this is a five star remake. Are we doing it again on a yeah. staple meal? It's like a 700,000 dollar taco. <laughs> Oh, it was really good, really, really good. And I ended up baking mine for about 10 minutes and then I put it on low broil, 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 broil. am I saying that right? Mm -hmm. um, for just a few minutes, just to really get that cheese melted. Um, you don't want your tortilla shells, I mean your tortilla wraps to crisp up. That's the secret and spray your, your dish as well. So anyway, guys, this was a hit. We'll be making it again, and it was super simple. Again, I did a pound of ground beef. I did taco packet, taco season packet. Follow the directions on the back, and then you're just going to tortilla shell, taco meat, cheese, whatever toppings you want at that point, and then just keep layering it, and at the very end, you're going to do taco meat with cheese, and um, when it comes out, you top it with sour cream or guacamole, lettuce, whatever your family enjoys. For the summer, I could see guacamole in the summertime, couldn't you? I think it would be really good with guacamole on it, but it was a hit. We have none left, so hopefully hopefully you guys will make it and let me know how you guys Welcome like back it. to What's for Dinner Tuesday. It is Chicken Tuesday, if you don't already know and you haven't seen the trend over the last two weeks. So tonight, originally we were going to have fried chicken. I don't feel like doing that. I'm not gonna do that. So either way, we're still gonna have chicken, but I'm gonna actually do it a little different. I'm gonna try to get it out of this container here. Um, so we're still gonna have chicken. I'm gonna do two types of chicken. So one for the kids <laughs> and then one type for Caleb and myself. So I gotta get a fork to cut it. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna put it in a bowl, and then I am going to marinate it for just a couple hours, and then I will get it cooked up, and I'll bring you along to show you that as well. So let's um, tip down, and let's get to cutting some chicken. Now these are pretty big um, chicken breasts.
As you notice, I did two different types of chicken. One is gonna be barbecue and one's gonna be buffalo. Um, I will show you how I do that. I'm just gonna kind of do it on stovetop. And um, with all that being said, I still, I still have some what? That did not come out right. I have some lettuce left over from last night's dinner. So I think I'm gonna gather up some fragments and we'll just do a little salad with chicken on the side and um, another type of vegetable as well. So, so I already have the buffalo chicken in the pan. And now we're just going to do the barbecue chicken. And then in this, there's just peas and um, corn. I would do that instead of using two pots. Sometimes I'll mix them in the same. So this is all you're doing. It's easy peasy. <laughs> all right, we are going to get a salad together because I don't want the lettuce to go to waste that we used last night. This is just shredded lettuce, pre-already shredded. You guys, you can tell, like, bag lettuce does not last very long. So, that's what we're doing. You're gonna hear the kids in the background because they are playing with the dog. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put some olives in it. bacon bits. And then I just grabbed the cheese that I had open, which is an Italian cheese. Doesn't matter. You can use whatever cheese you have on hand. Again, this is more like a gathering thing because I don't want it to go to waste. All right. And that's it. Back to the chicken. All right, so this is just getting done. I covered the buffalo chicken. And um, so yeah, it's a little thicker, that's why I covered it. So yeah, we're just letting them cook up. And then I'm gonna retoss the this chicken and buffalo chicken, okay? Mommy, it's a fancy music Yeah, well. Get the veggies stirred up. Add a little salt to them. All right, so this is, and now Caleb and I are gonna put the chicken on our salad, so it doesn't, it's not gonna be so bland. We'll add the chicken to the salad. And then I also have some dinner rolls that I'm gonna pop in the oven and warm up. That's all I'm gonna do. Caleb and I are having the buffalo chicken salads. And then we have some buttered rolls. And then the kids, they've already ate their bread, but they're having, um, there you go. They're having um, barbecue chicken with some mixed veggies and then some chocolate milk. So that is dinner tonight. That was great. Um, we had a little dilemma with the veggies. I have one kid that didn't really want them mixed up. So mm, kind of got a hit or miss. They love the chicken. They love the bread. Our salads Special are great. To what's for dinner. We are gonna add in what's for dessert. So we are making candy bar brownies. So what do we have? A ton of Halloween candy. So let's get it made. Um, what it says to do first, in a large bowl, you're gonna combine your butter, sugar, eggs, and vanilla. So our butter is three quarters of a cup, so it's melting right now. And then sugar, we are gonna need two cups of sugar. You cannot see me. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of try to tilt you guys down while I add all this in, okay? So right here it is. We're going to add in this bowl. Ignore the chaos over here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to trade out that measuring cup. This is a one cup mm -hmm. measuring cup. You're going to need two cups of sugar. You're going to hear Lila. She is at the island with me. She's supposed to be working on her hand. Okay. It's a fancy Nancy book. Ne fancy. Next, you're going to do four eggs. That's a okay, guys, I'm going to move the bowl so while I can crack at least one egg. Thank you. Oh, and I'm going to check on my butter. I did pretty good. You did great. Okay, next, you're going to add your butter. 
and then you're gonna add vanilla. So remember, three quarters of a cup of butter, two cups of sugar, four eggs, and then you're gonna do two teaspoons of vanilla. You know, sometimes I just kinda overmeasure my, my vanilla. It doesn't always say do what it's supposed to do. So if more falls in the, the thing, do not judge. She's not okay. Okay, now I'm gonna add the butter in. She tries. Okay, and here we go, y'all. You can take your time, Mommy. There we go. I like that bowl a lot. You like it? It's a tiny bowl for just me. <laughs> all right, now we're just gonna combine all this together. Okay, now you're gonna set this aside and you're gonna grab your other bowl and you are gonna add your flour, which is gonna be one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I don't know that I have that much in here, but I'm gonna try it. Oh yeah, I do, I have it. And I do advise people to wear an apron. I did not grab one, it is all good. Okay. Okay. Just a little better. <laughs> Just so like, okay, next like you're gonna add you're gonna add cocoa powder. And you are you're gonna add you're gonna add um a third of a cup of oh uh uh that's why you wear an apron of cocoa powder. No, this thing's had a bad day. That's covered in all kinds of stuff. Okay, next is your baking powder. And that is going to be a half a teaspoon. I have all my little things out so I can read them. Anybody curious, these I believe are from, I think these are from Walmart. They're not from Walmart, they're from the kitchen store. What is the kitchen store? Exactly what it says, you buy kitchen stuff there. Okay. <laughs> And then you're gonna add salt, which I didn't grab salt. Here we go. I'm gonna add some salt. Why are you doing that? Uh, so, Cause it comes out quickly. You're gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. There's a trick, guys. If you um do your, if you tip your pepper over and then you put the salt on the bottom and you turn the salt around, it'll make more pepper come out. Yeah. Right, mommy? Yep. We showed them. Remember me? You showed them in that oh, yeah. one video. Yeah. Good job. Who taught us that? Um, Bubba. No. Remember that sign show that he watched that day? Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna stir this up and you're gonna set aside a quarter of a cup of this mixture. That's the reason I grabbed that out. And what I'm writing, it's not good. Okay, we're just gonna set it right here and hope I don't knock it over. I don't want to set it right Next, it's okay, baby. Next, you're gonna stir in your dry ingredients into your eggs. <laughs> Anybody else cook like this and make a mess? Let's just good. do this. Okay. This is just like chocolate. It is chocolate pumpkin pie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pour milk in it. Okay, and now you're gonna mix this together. I'll show you what it is in just a second, you guys. You pour milk in it, it'll be uh, like liquidy, and then you put it in a pie. Oh. And then you put it in a pie. Is that Lila's homemade chocolate pie there? <laughs> All right, so this is what we're working with right now, guys. And now you're just gonna mix it together. I like the blue shirt that you gave me. Oh, well, it looks pretty on you. Oh, and again, that's why you wear an apron. So over my recipe. Oh, pause for a minute. Sweet baby, got me an apron. She is just the sweetest. Even with my sleeves long. You, yep, she has on one of my shirts. That's how long the sleeve, that's not even my hand. Now, my, this recipe that I'm working on calls for, um, it calls for Reese, I mean, calls for Snickers. No, 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 because we have an abundance of these. 
Yeah. What? All right, now that I've already opened up the Reese Cups, it's asking for four Snicker bars, um, 2.7 ounce each, and then three um, like Hershey bars that are the miniature. I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna do Reese Cups and just break them up. Oh, that, that might be why they said no. And you know, if we don't use all these, we'll just eat them. <laughs> That's yum. Yeah, you can lick it off. No. I don't know that I'm going to lick it off, but yeah, you can. I guess if you want to lick your fingers, you lick them. That's all you. All right. You're going to take the batter, and then apparently you just kind of. I like the vibrate of this. Kind of cool. Okay, now that I've done that, I think I'm going to add a few more. Cool. Now that I did that, now I'm just gonna toss that all together. And it says, you're gonna stir this into your mixture. I still don't know why. Not doing it's fine, baby. It's fine, baby. Okay. Okay, here we go, guys. Nope. I know, after you get started. I just love stirring stuff. It's so fun. I'm still not sure why you wanted to coat your candy. Anybody know that? Tell me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this. Burnt, burnt, burnt. Okay. So now we're gonna put this in a. You're gonna uh, put it into a 13 by 9 baking dish, and you're gonna bake it at 350 for 30 to 35 minutes. Now, I should have probably had my oven preheating, but I did not because, you know, that is just what it is. So, okay. All right. So, now you're going to transfer this into your baking dish. Okay. All right. We are going to attempt to do this. It's like, it's butter spray. Y'all, I use Crisco butter spray because it was on sale and that's what I bought. <laughs> Lila does not like the smell of that, apparently. <laughs> All right, let's transfer, transfer, transfer. It looks like It looks cloppy. Yeah. But it's real. Real. All right. Make sure you got it even. And then it says you're gonna top it with some little pieces of chocolate. So y'all, since we have an abundance of chocolate. Why not? We, why not? Thank you, Lila, why not, right? And y'all, I have, still have so much chocolate, you can't you even can tell that I name. used any. Yes, I can say your name. Okay. Just dump it all around there. Or on your counter, whichever works best for you. I wouldn't. That was funny. Okay, now you're gonna pop it in your 350 degree oven for 30 minutes to 35 minutes. It says do not, do not over bake. So here we go. You're gonna pull it out when your toothpick comes out clear. Alrighty, here's, I just got a few of them out. So we're gonna go ahead and move to the island and I'm gonna have the kiddos try them and we'll see if they're tasty. Okay, so the kids have officially taken, well, have you taken a bite, Lila? Have you, okay, what do you think? Just shake your head yes or no. <laughs> yes, it's hot. He put it in his mouth hot. Lila, what do you think? You haven't, oh, see, here's, why, what? No, here's my husband. Kind of. <laughs> I guess they don't realize they just came out of the oven. Oh, and Lala and I are not crazy enough to do that. I guess they like hot brownies. Are they good? You wanna come back over here now that your mouth is not on fire? My eyes are watering. 
Mm. Mm. I like it with the peanut butter. They're rich. It's got peanut butter cups in it. What do you think, baby? They're good. Are they? Mm -hmm. Is this, you want me to make them again? No. You didn't like them? You ought to put like peanut butter on top. Okay, Lila doesn't like them. You like them, Trenton? Love them. Well, Trenton's saying he loves them. Okay. Yeah. Look at the peanut butter in it. Mm -hmm. That's what make a brownie good. Mm. They're not bad. I didn't really like them. They're, okay, Lala just does Lala was, did not like them. It was too crusty. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, here then, baby. Here. No, don't. Let me give her an inner piece and see what she thinks. Where's your napkin, baby? The inside pieces are yummy. She got that outside. I don't think she liked the outside. You like the inside? Oh, I couldn't tell the difference. Mm -hmm. I think Lala's a fan. I tried to give her another piece. She wasn't sure. She wasn't 100% sold on it. But anyway, guys, they are ooey and gooey and yummy and peanut buttery. And... What is ooey and gooey? All right. So, take three. <laughs> That's what happens when you have a house with kids. Lila, no, no. She didn't like them. Um, Trenton fan. loved them. I'm not a fan of Caleb, you loved them, right? Take three. So, did you love them? Yeah, they were very good. You want to come over here? I'm trying to. And show them the ooey gooey whip? Ooey gooey. Ooey gooey stuff. I mean, y'all, they are, they're good. Mommy, I can say ooey gooey goodness. Ooey gooey goodness. Ooey gooey goodness. Ooey gooey goodness. Ooey I like how they say, oh, don't come. That's how you kind of say it. They're good. We're going to enjoy some brownies. Join me tomorrow for What's for Dinner Wednesday. Guys, I was filming Crock Pot Thursday, bourbon chicken. I don't really know what just happened in my footage. So I'm going to walk back through this. You're just not going to see me mixing it together. So what you're going to need is, I'll even show you the ingredients. One cup of chicken broth. You're gonna need two thirds cup of soy sauce, a half a cup of apple juice. Then you are going to need one tablespoon of cider vinegar, but I don't have that. A quarter cup of bourbon. I'm not gonna show that. <laughs> and then a quarter cup of ketchup. And then a half a cup of brown sugar and then you're gonna need one teaspoon of minced garlic and then you are going to mix it together and it will look like this when you mix it together all right so now i can kind of pick up where i'll where i don't know what happened to my footage but there you go all right here we go you're just gonna throw it over your chicken and we are gonna put this in the crock pot on high for, I'm guessing here, for three hours, that, that'll make it five o'clock, okay guys? So for three hours, and then once it's done, we are gonna add more garlic, and corn starts to thicken everything up and flavor it. Okay guys, it is 416, so this has not cooked all the way yet. Um, this is what it's looking like so Chicken far. It's officially done, so what I'm going to do real quick is get it, cut up and then we are going to work on thickening our sauce. Okay, so what we're doing now, I have water boiling. We're going to do orzo with it. So it's a pasta that I have and I don't want it to go to waste. And then we are gonna add in some cornstarch. We're gonna add in two tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay, you can see how the salsa's cooked down and it's starting to thicken up. 
All right, so I'm gonna get all this in a bowl. I think I'm gonna taste it before anybody gets home just to see what it tastes like, because it might not taste good. I'll show you what I'm doing in a second. So I have orzo in the bottom of this bowl right here. And the more I eat it, no, I like the flavor, but I don't think this is a staple. Mm. What do you think, baby? Oh, let me get you in the camera raw. Well, when she showed me the you don't have to go that far and be menu? like, I told her so. The menu plan, I told her I wasn't a huge fan of bourbon chicken, but I would, you know, try it. And I tried it. And it's okay. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. It's, to me, it's too sweet. And that's what I don't Is that like what about. it is? Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, the orzo, I, I could eat orzo all day. Yeah, I like the orzo with it. Orzo is wonderful, but the chicken is just, it's way too sweet for me. Mm -mm. Yeah. The sauce is sweet. Mm. And, um, we're eating it though, aren't we? Yeah, you told me we weren't going to get a hamburger, so we're definitely eating it. <laughs> what I, I asked you? about three o'clock if we could go get a burger, and she said no. What if we go get a burger now? No. Why? Because now I've already got food in my stomach. I ain't going to be able to lay my, my passion down towards my hamburgers like I normally like them. All right, guys. Um, not my favorite. Not my favorite, right? Bust. Five oh. out of five stars. How many would you give it? I mean, I mean, I give it a one. No. As far as a meal, I give it about a three and a half. Mm. It, it it is good. Somebody probably likes it. As far as me liking it or eating it, I give it a one. Yeah, me too. It does have a good flavor, and. It really, if you like sweet chicken, and it's not like sweet and sour chicken though. Like it you, you tastes gotta, like bourbon chicken. Yes, yeah, I mean it's yeah. I mean maybe maybe the bourbon should have been in your cup instead of in the chicken. <laughs> I'm eating it. I'm not eating the chicken. I am eating it in the sauce. I don't know. I'm mixed. I'm giving it a one. Bourbon chicken for us. You don't know that. You know <laughs> what kind of stuff I put in here. I might be putting bourbon in everything. If you don't know, though. You want to go ahead what and... What bourbon did you use? I don't know. Whatever bottle I could reach. <clears throat> what my freaking good crown oil was it? I didn't use crown. Oh, you used a single, single crown oil. I used that first one up front. I used a $75 bottle of liquor. <laughs> How much did you use? <laughs> How much? A quarter you... of a cup. Oh, okay. That ain't much. I didn't use mine. Double shot. I can't use much, y'all. No, he has like, he is drinking every, no. That is like, no, y'all. Don't even get that twisted. I'll turn that around. I didn't show them it, my liquor. It's a good bottle of liquor, too. It's about four years old, too. Actually, about two years old, three years old. No, I did not use that much. But it is a good bottle. Mm. Single barrel reserve. I don't know much about liquor. All I know is I had to text him, what is bourbon? <laughs> then I had to text him, what bottle is that? Like, what do you mean? Do you want this? <laughs> he didn't even eat it. Okay, reevaluation on the dinner. Minus a little hair right there, sorry. It had a great flavor. It was not our liking, it not right? Our taste. It's not our taste. Yeah, it was good. It was good, it was, it was cooked well, it, it tasted good. It's just not what I was looking for. It's not what Ann likes no, either. He's got the hiccups too. I do have the hiccups. So, and our kids did end up eating dinner with the neighbors. So they're having chili mac. I knew that that would be a bust with the kids. As soon as I tasted it, they were not gonna care much for it. So anyway, thank you for coming to, what is today? Wednesday. Oh, I thought it was Thursday. Oh no, did I mess up my dinner? I did. I was, oh no. Okay, well, it's not crock pot Thursday, guys. I have my day all off. I guess we're going to swap up our days crock pot Wednesday and yeah, we, spaghetti stuffed garlic last night. bread Thursday. <laughs>
Oh well. Mamas are allowed to have oopsies, right? Oops. Anyway, there you go. If you make it, let me know what you think. If you don't make it, I don't blame you. We'll see you tomorrow for garlic bread, spaghetti stuffed garlic bread. So, I promise, I promise y'all. Keep my fingers crossed, y'all. I will make it, I promise. Hey, welcome back to Thursday, what's for dinner? So, as I said in Wednesday, I got Wednesday and Thursday mixed up. I'm human, it happens. So, instead of the crock pot bourbon chicken, we are having spaghetti stuffed garlic bread tonight. Down so you can see. I'm gonna pull you up, sorry. I have water already start, um, trying to get boil, get it boiling. Sorry, I can't even talk, guys. And then over here, I'm gonna get the burger going and um, get that ready. And then I have the oven also preheating at 450 degrees. Let's see, let's see if I can do this. There you go, guys. I have the oven preheating at 450. So we're gonna get all this going and I will be back to show you how it's coming along. For your sauce, um, I'm just using a traditional pasta sauce. This is from Aldi. And then I'm gonna season it with um, onion and oregano, basil, and granulated garlic. So yes, that is gonna be tasty. And I'll show you how I do all that as well. All right, now that our burger is done, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna turn the heat down for sure. Um, we're there's not much grease in here. Normally I would drain it, but there's not much grease at all in this meat. I'm gonna sit this upside down just so I can catch the sauce. Okay, oh. Do it like this. I, I was doing that one, so I need to finish the oregano. Okay, onion. And a little bit of garlic here. So, mind you, we have garlic bread that we're using as well. So, we don't want it to be too much. Well, some people don't think there's too much garlic, but I do. If nobody knows, Caleb's home. Hi, everybody. Okay, I'm gonna get the meat going. I'm gonna get the meat going. And um, I'm gonna turn the water up on the, the noodles to get that together. So this is just gonna be on low. Now that looks really good, even if it's not done yet. And it could just be I'm starving right now. Okay, so this is gonna be on low. This is actually on high because I want to get it done. And I'm kind of letting my garlic bread thaw out a little bit, and I'll explain why in a minute. Okay, my water is boiling now, so we're gonna add some noodles. I break my noodles in half. You don't have to. I do. Yeah, I like breaking them too. It's fine. Do you have any more for me? To Break them down. Hold on. Break them downward. Okay, you're gonna have to. Nope. You want me? I'll do it. I, oh! Now that we have our noodles in there, we're gonna get them stirred up a little. I'm gonna put oil in it so the noodles don't stick together. All right. Now let's do this the right way. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna prepare our bread because we're gonna stuff it with the spaghetti and sauce. Well, let's just pretend I did it in front of you because we wanted to do a test run to see if it was gonna work or not. So you guys watched me take my sharp knife and go in a rectangle. And this is the outcome. So you're gonna dig it out. 
We're saving ours because we like garlic breath. <laughs> Yeah, I like I it. mean, technically, I think you should do two sides, but we're only going to do one. Mommy, can you eat garlic bread? Yeah. No, I don't think so. So, we're going to do one side, and then we'll close it. But we're saving the yummy goodness over here. We're going to eat this, guys. But, yeah, this is it. This is how you're going to stuff this. Now, I will tell you, if this does not work, we will be putting this back in here. <laughs> Caleb, no. Caleb was saying we should just have spaghetti and garlic bread. And I said, I do, and I am at that point. I'm going to make this work because I really want to see what it tastes like. So, yeah, if anybody's ever made this, let me know. But this is a new recipe for us. There's not really a recipe. It's just kind of a, you just stuff your spaghetti in a garlic. We're going to check our noodles. Noodles. Our noodles. That's what Lolly used to call them, noodles. 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 Okay, and our sauce is just simmering, and it is, it's yummy. Now that our spaghetti is finished, and I've already drained it, by the way, you are going to mix it with your meat sauce. I don't know. Baby, do you think I have enough meat sauce just to dump this in here? I think I do. We're going to dump our meat sauce. So oh, yeah, y'all remember making these? My hubby made me a note. I don't, I can't read it on on camera. I don't know if it's appropriate. it's appropriate. Oh, it's appropriate. You remember doing this in class? Yeah. Oh! Let's show it to the camera. You remember that? Do you love me? Check yes or no. I checked yes. Side note of dinner. Aww. Yeah. We kissed. All right, guys, I'm going to mix this together. Here you go. I want to do one. We're going to mix it together. So, Caleb is teaching Lala how to make um, uh -uh. paper notes. Now, you're going to stir it together. Oh, do you need a pot holder to hold that pan? It's my welder hands. They, that's not burning your hand? Not at all. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, get, dig down in the corners. There's some sauce on the. Dig yeah. down in there. We're getting it out, y'all. Okay, now I'm gonna put a pot holder on my counter because I don't want it. I don't know what to do on granite. I'm gonna go old school. I'm gonna do the little thing. All right, now we're gonna. Oh, I'll just put it right here. Oh, never mind. Kayla says we're gonna do it right here, y'all. I got you. Okay, now I'm gonna lift. I'm gonna bring the camera over. Hold on, baby. Oh, hey. Okay. Here we go. Now, Caleb, do you do you want do? You, <laughs> Get the mozzarella, hey, girl. Listen, why don't you use this scoop? Check yes, no. Okay, well, baby, I don't have mozzarella, but I got Parmesan. That'll work. Oh, we are loading that or something. <laughs> so this is this is Coca Cola here in Caleb tonight. Can I try it? Hold on a minute, baby. We're gonna try a whole plate full of it here in a little bit. We're gonna cook this, okay, guys? Yeah, if we ever get All to right. eat it tonight. And now, oh, mm. now. I'm going to save that. We are going to put the lid on this. Is that a lid? lid? We're going to put the top the on top this. And I'm following. <laughs> <laughs> My garlic bread has lids. <laughs> We're going to put the lid on the bread. Y'all, it has been, it's been a long day. But anyway, we are going to um, get this garlic bread in the oven. 450 for 8 to 10 minutes per the package. So we're just gonna go, cause their spaghetti's already done. So here we got. Okay guys, we gotta add cheese to it real quick. We forgot. The whole lid thing on the garlic bread threw me off. That, it threw me off. I'm not even gonna lie about it. So Caleb's adding, we, we, we have Parmesan. We don't have mozzarella right now. We don't have parm. we don't have mozzarella. That little piece for Lala. And then I have plain spaghetti as well, Sissy. Okay. So here we go. Now we're putting the lid back I had on to put it. Put the lid back on it. And here's your pot holder, baby. Oh, he's got a towel. Okay, this is cook with Ann and Caleb. Okay, so what's for dinner Thursday? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Start over. No, it's okay. okay. What's for dinner Thursday has turned into what's for dinner? Let's cook go. with Caleb, apparently. 
Do you think this dinner's Caleb gonna... Caleb can cook. Caleb can cook. Do you think this is gonna turn out yummy? I hope so, because I'm starving. I am too, but if it doesn't turn out yummy... We get a bowl of spaghetti. <laughs> a whole pot of spaghetti, and we still have garlic bread. There's no way it can't turn out good. There's no way it's gonna be nasty. I agree. Did you start the timer? I did start the timer. Good. All right. <laughs> We had to take two. Mm -hmm. We didn't take two though. We didn't take two. We're not gonna edit this either. So. Yes, you will. We'll be back and show you what it looks like. Alrighty, guys. This is out of the oven now. Um, we're gonna cut into it together and we're gonna see how this works. Y'all ready? It's kind of like Christmas morning when you open a present and you don't know what's in it or you don't know how it's gonna be. This side, I think, was a side for a while. That side? Okay. Basically, what we got here is a spaghetti sandwich. Oh, no, guys. I forgot to spray my pan. Oh, it's okay. All right. Oh, that looks good. Look at that. All right. Okay, guys, this is our outcome. Look at that. Look at this yummy goodness. We're going to take a bite and we'll let you know how it tastes. Okay, real quick. I've already taken a couple bites. Caleb's taking a couple bites. Uh-uh, why are you taking that from me? It's good. Uh, Trenton is taking a bite and Lila, well, Lila just goes to her own plan. So, picking the bread out. She's picking the bread out and eating it all separate, whatever. She thinks it's tasty. Trenton, how many stars? Hold your hand up. Oh, pop star you see the spaghetti on his hand. Baby, what do you think? Oh, he just took a bite. I think we're gonna be making what? this again. This was tasty. How many stars, baby? Can only go to five. Five being the best. Five means it can't get no better. A thousand stars. Y'all, essentially you're making a spaghetti five. sandwich. I didn't listen to five. I listened to <clears throat> You're just making a spaghetti sandwich. And y'all, this is so good. So. All right, guys. Thank you for watching What's for Dinner. I know it is a lengthy video. I did not edit any of the bloopers out. And I did not add any music to the fast-forwarded parts. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you decide to try any of the meals, let me know below if you have tried them. Especially the bourbon chicken, right, babe? Like, yeah, I mean, it, like I said, it, it was good. It just wasn't our thing. It wasn't for us, but if you've ever tried it and you have a secret to not, so it's not, it was sweet, right? Yeah, I like it a little more spicy. Like, let us know. It was a very kid-friendly week dinner. Um, the only thing, I don't think the kids would have went for the bourbon chicken at all whatsoever. We didn't like it. I'm glad they ate with my neighbor instead. But thank you for watching. Have a blessed week, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And we will be doing a small what's for dinner next week because it is Thanksgiving week. Um, <clears throat> I would love to hear what you guys have on your meal plan for next week. Ours is, like I said, super, super simple. Um it's not going to be anything extravagant. And hopefully this time I'll get my days right. I won't get my days confused. So again, have a blessed week ahead and I will see you next time.